I've been surfing Santa Cruz since 1959, off and on. I was going out on a fairly good-sized day out at Steamer's Lane, and I had a cough before I went out, but I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. Went out, I got caught inside in the wrong place, I got held under by two or three waves, thought I was going to drown, couldn't figure out why I couldn't hold my breath very long, made my way into shore. Uh, a couple of days later, I called the doctors and went to the doctor's office to find out what was wrong. So I guess the results of all the tests that I'd gone through was that I had malt lymphoma, which is a rare form of cancer. It was a mass around my right lung that was about the size of a man's fist. And it was clogging up my breathing airway. When we went out to look for a doctor in a walk-in clinic, it felt to me like everything that was going on prior to going to the Palo Alto Medical Foundation was fear. There was a lot of things being said, and there was a real lack of personal care. For my wife, every time we'd go to a meeting, she was crying, and I was you know, freaking out because of her fear, and I was starting to be afraid that we weren't getting the answers. We weren't going to get to a place that would find out whether I did have cancer and whether or not the cancer was treatable. We went to Dr. Wong's office. The difference there was, the first thing he did was he came in and shook my hand. He said, why don't you get down and sit down? Let's get to know each other a little bit. Dr. Wong, uh, you know, he had a whole different mentality. He said, let's not worry about what you think is going on in rumors. Let's do a battery of tests. When we get the results of the tests, then we'll create a strategy. When I was finished with my treatment, I felt like I had to go back and revisit the family. I mean, they really made you feel like they cared. I started looking forward to going to chemo. That was not something you could have told me when it started. I'm now back out on the water surfing. I'm back at work. I never saw myself as a cancer patient. I saw myself as a, as a cancer student. You know, I didn't want to fall victim to just sitting and worrying about my treatment. My experience with the Palo Alto Medical Foundation has changed my whole outlook on being able to go and be treated as a patient and have someone really care about your health.